Um, I think White F Shaw for the seven months. Let's go here. Oh, he's being very. Oh, this guy might not realize actually. He might not realize. He might not realize that I'm going King F7. He thought I was going to play normal chess. And now he's confused because I went King F7. Now he's really confused. Now he's really confused because he's like, he thought he was like playing some hardcore theory and then I went King F7. And he's like, what is this? Okay, so I'll play. Um, I have Bishop B4 again. I think it's a good move. Okay, let's take. I'm going to go C5 maybe. Take a big center here. Take a big chunk at least of the center. Let's just take. I guess he goes bishop e3 or something. I don't know how good this is actually for white. It's weird because you would think this should be really good. But I'm not actually sure that this is great. So I can go like knight e7, rook e8, knight f5. And I'm honestly, I'm not so sure. Okay. Oh, but he's got c4. Ah, I forgot. Ah, I forgot. He, ah, I forgot he has c3. Ah. Whatever, let's just keep going. <laughs> okay, you guys, don't don't be weird. Oh, but he misses it. He plays bishop f2. He gives me a reprieve. Okay, but now I go here, I hit the pawn, and we're back in business. Okay, um, back in business is being a relative term, of course. I guess I'll go here. Okay, back in business maybe is too strong of a word to use, but I feel like I have chances. I go here. If I get rook e8 in, for example, I feel like I've got chances. I mean, maybe I should I should have gone h5, of course, but whatever. Wait, if I go knight f5, takes, takes. Rook h7, takes, and king g7. I think I can get away with this. I hope I can. I'm not actually sure if I can, but I think I can. So I'm going to do it. If he takes, I take, and then when he checks, I have the knight to block the idea. But I thought I'd just take. And now I just go king g7. I think I'm actually very happy with my position. Weirdly. Very weirdly. Maybe happy is too strong of a word. But I don't think I should be in terrible shape. Let's go knight e7. I connect my knights. I hit the pawn. I open the diagonal. I mean, this can't be that bad. Let's go. Let's go here. And I want to go knight g4 maybe also. I think I'll just try to keep trading down here. Because the more stuff I trade, the better off it becomes. I can take with the rook, and I think I will actually. So I'm worried about a knight h4 lever here. This guy is way too passive. I, I like his I like how passive he is, because it gives me good better chances to rack up some wins here. Like his style is just very slow and dry. Thank you to Electrophile for the 13 months. Thanks so much. Because now I can move the knight back, and I, I mean, I'm still probably worse, but it's still playable. It was c3. That doesn't really concern me. I mean, I guess I just go here. I always have rook h8 at some moment. And now if I take g4, what's he have? Rook g1. I can take sketchy at best. I also have knight 6 knight g4. Knight h4. Huh. Oh. It's a little bit ugly. A little bit ugly. I also don't have time here, so I kind of have to just move. F5, gf5, it's no good. Knight h6, g5, knight g4. <sighs> okay, let's just move. Just gotta move. Thank you for the five months, man. I appreciate it. G5, I just take and go queen f5, of course. He goes f5. Um, I think I just go here, maybe. Very hard to play with no time on the clock. Yeah, he saw it. And now I'm just, I'm screwed. I just got to move, though. Maybe I can get a swindle. Takes. I have queen d3. I 
I think I can make a draw here, probably. I think this is a draw. I'm luck This is gonna be the first draw, I think. If he checks, I come up. Oh, it's not a draw. Oh my god. He has queen c7, which I didn't see. Oh, I didn't see queen c7. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I didn't see that. Oh, I didn't see queen c7 at all. Oh, I just didn't see queen c7. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I sucked out. Oh, I'm so terrible at chess. I, I don't know how that happened. They had Chico ran it for the, uh, for the prime. Rizaldine for the prime. The real BBQT for the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you to uh, DF Timothy for the five electro file for the 13. As I've said many a day, the clock is my favorite friend. <laughs> that was terrible by him. I don't know how he choked that. That was so bad. Yeah, I don't know how. That's two games. That's two games now that I should have lost that I won. So like two of the three, two of the three tilts against the Chinese dude are have been recovered. So it's all good. That was a hard choke. I know that was a hard choke. He had 20 seconds. That was a hard choke. Yeah, I saw the XQC thing, 1040. Yeah. No, that was a hard choke. Oh, sh oh wait. I didn't notice that. Oh, I didn't even notice who I was playing this game. Oh God. It's okay. Okay. I'm not talking you guys. I'm not talking. Go here. It blunders a juicer on d4. I don't know if I can take it though. But it should be three knights, e6, takes. I'm just gonna go h5, h4 here, maybe. Let's go here, queen b6. Let's go. Um, I think I'm gonna go here and hit the bishop. I do have knight c2 here, maybe. I also have h4. I think I go h4 to kick the knight. It's still tricky. Queen c3, rook c8. Yeah, I can do it, actually. I have queen b6. It's actually still very tricky though. Very tricky. I don't know why I did this. I don't know, why did I take this pawn? Okay, whatever, let's just go back. I gotta move quicker. Let's go here, trade some rooks. Definitely I should play d4 here or not. I should or should not. I think I, I'm just gonna do it. Somehow I'm always down on the clock, I've noticed though, which is what's actually really frustrating about this. And I put the wrong rook there, but whatever. Let's go here on queen c8 maybe. I'm gonna do this. Okay, now, but now, now my queen becomes active. I have the pawn on h4 too. Let's go, not rook d3, wait. Let's go here. Queen f2, I have bishop d5, I think, okay. Let's 
go here and take the pawn. Wait, no, I have check and take. I almost blundered again. Almost blundered. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Just take. Okay, I don't even care. I'm just going to do whatever I can to win this. I, I don't care which way is technically correct. I'm just going to do what I know wins. I mean, this has to be winning with H3. Although, actually, now that I'm looking at this, this is not... Oh, my God. This is not obvious at all. I'm going to flag him, but I, I actually have made a mess out of this one, too. Why did I do this? Let's go here. Yeah, this is still winning, but I made a mess out of this. Still winning, but... Yeah. Shaq and F2. Or, he could play Rook D4. He doesn't. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, no, I don't want to play him again. Let's play somebody else. There we go. There we go. So now I feel like I've recovered everything. I feel like I've recovered everything. I've recovered everything. I, because the two games I lost him were tilt games that I shouldn't have lost. Um, and then there were two games already that I should have lost. The Indian guy and the checkmate and one that my opponent missed before. So it's all good. What's the score now? Let me check. Um, I'll update it in a second. What do we have? Uh, it's 54, right? Yeah, it's 54. Yeah, 30. Or no, it's 53. Sorry, 253. Okay, let's go here. I think I'll play D4 and takes again. Yeah, now, now it's good. Now I feel like everything is back to being very happy. Let's go Bishop B5. Oh, shoot. I la ay, ay, ay. Oh, gross. This is gross, actually. I've got a very bad position. Okay. Can I? No, I can't. Oh. Um... This is really ugly. This is really ugly. I get better positions with black than white, probably. Go h3, king g2. I mean, bishop g4 was a very unnecessary move. Knight e4 and h4, and I just resign. Knight e4 and h4, and I just we just I just resign and move on. Like I go here, he's what's he have queen d6 or something? I guess I have bishop e1. Hold the glue. Hold the glue. Okay, I can play c4, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm, um, I'm gonna bring my bishop back to hit the knight. And maybe just c4. I think what I, I think this is actually what I want. So I think I can go like knight d2 and hit the pawn. It's not great, it's still very bad for me, but I feel like my position is not maybe the end of the world here anymore. Just go c4. There's a five. That's a good move. I think. I think it's a good move. I don't know if it's a good move for sure, but it looks like it should be because he's gonna go g5 and build a big, big king side. Whew, this is brutal. Um, I think I'm gonna take and hope. Let's hope because I, I I can maybe take. Oh no! Why did I do this? Ugh. I assume I'm not blundering something terrible, but this looks really gross. Let's go here. He takes. I guess I have to go d5. 95, queen d4, maybe? He goes 97. Actually, wait. I can go here, and I can threaten a checkmate. He blundered it. And he can't take? He does have a cease. He blundered queen a7. Thank you to Jack Omo Jones for the tier 1. Janice for the uh, for the tier 1. Thank you to Dev Margolis with the tier 1. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Pre Thank you so much. Huh? No, but this can't work. No, 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 no. This can't work. Let's go here and hold this piece. To go here. I got. I got a sidestep. 
I did not have checkmate, you guys. First of all, first of all, you guys, when I, he took, it's check. There's no mate. Secondly, he went here. If I check, he goes king d7. Thank you very much, chat. Much love, much love. Let's take. Much love. Bam! Oh, it's check! Oh my god, it's check. Oh my god, I just threw it all away. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my gosh, you guys trolled me and I immediately threw it. Oh my god. Oh god, okay. Oh, I should, I should have thought for a second there. Ugh. I mean, that game I was, I was losing earlier, but, I mean, still frustrating. Let's go here. Yeah, I mean, I kind of blame chat for that one, too. <laughs> Let's go here, takes and c6. Yeah, trolled by chat. Yeah, I mean, maybe it was bad no matter what. But I had queen e3. I think it actually it was probably a draw if I take. Um... It probably was a draw if I did it the other way, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It's neither here nor there. It's yeah. It's it's my fault to be in pleb mode. That's actually true. Okay, these games are getting progressively more and more unpleasant, though. It's like every game I feel like I'm I'm like already lost on move five. It's very hard. <sighs> I can take and go f5, I can play knight c6 here maybe. Yeah, every game I play now, it's like I have to be careful not to just be lost on move 5. It's very, very rough. <sighs> Bishop b3, I guess I can take and play knight f5. I can go here. What is this song? <laughs> this song is killing me now too. Let's go, let's go here. Let's <laughs> I thought I could play here maybe and hit the bishop and hit the pawn. Play h5 here. If e5, I guess I still just take. Um... Oh, that's a great move by him, actually. Or is it? No, it's not. Because I can actually create a square for my bishop. He was trying to prevent this move so he could trap the juicer, but by pushing, I create a square. Now I go f5 and I clog the center, and these, this pawn club is really bad. It's like it's like the pawn, this is like the running back that's stuck behind this pawn on d3. It's the running back that's stuck behind the two pawns here in the center. And now I should just win this game pretty routinely. First, I think I'm going to actually put my knight on g4. Okay, let's go here, 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 maybe. Actually, no, why did I... Okay, we're both going to put our knights on. Let's go... Uh, I think I'm going to go here on bishop a6, probably. Is this the same guy that I played? Oh, yeah, the same guy that I just played, right? Now I just blundered for no reason. He missed it. Um, let's go here and rook c8, I guess. I can play c5, I can also go a4, but I think c5 looks really good. Let's go c4. Okay, I mean, I should be winning here. I just go b5, and I mean, I take this one. His knight is actually really quite bad here, too. Let's go here, let's line him up. I have this and this also. Let's just go here and bishop a4, hit the rook. Uh, not actually, he's got 96 or something. So I, I guess I'm just going to be very low key chill. I guard laterally guard and I'm going to bring the other rook. And I mean, it's I don't see how white survives this, honestly. Let's go here. Now he can't take because I take with my rook and my queen still holds. Let's go here. I mean, this looks terrible. I'm going to line up a triple stack. Um, I can obviously take. I don't really want to, though. So I think I'm just going to go here and hold the pawn. I have all day here as well, which doesn't help matters. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. If he takes, I just take with a check.
And that's game. There we go. Let's keep going. I mean, I'll play him again if he wants to play. Okay, now he's playing very aggressively, so I'm going to do this in D4 again. Okay. How do I want... I guess I'll develop this way, knight E2. Seems reasonable. If E4, just bishop C2. His bishop is kind of off sides here. It's like it should be on this square, but it's on this square, so it's aiming at a pawn wall. It doesn't really do anything. Um, let's go knight E2 and knight E3, I guess. His bishop should, if his bishop was on d6, he'd be doing really well. But the bishop was sort of off sides here. Okay, I can play knight g3, I think. I also have h4 here, but I think I think the best way to do this is just to go after him with like b4 and b5 and a4 and a5. Oh, actually, I should not. Okay, I play h4. Whatever, it's still fine. Knight d8 is a good move. He wants to play c6 here. Hmm. There are pro uh, there are problems here. I can play b5 and takes. I misplayed this whole position, probably. Should wait, if I take... If he goes knight g4, I actually have king e2. So I think I'll move my king back here. I should have played knight c4 first. Very stupid of me. And then I would have been just fine. Okay. Um, let's see. How do I do this? Maybe just a4 and queen e1 and bishop a3 seems reasonable. The problem here for black is actually he can't move this knight because he loses the pawn. If it's queen e6, I mean, I think I'm just going to play b5 here. And queen g4, I have rook h3 to hold the, hold the knight. I have bishop a3, I have bishop d1. This is a very weird position. It's probably very good for black, but it's not so easy to play. I also have just c4 to build my big center. I'm just going to go c4. Build the big center. Let's go here. Probably bishop a3 and bishop b3 at some point. Go c5. That's just a free pawn. I'll take it. So what? Let's just go here. Bishop a3 next move. Maybe bishop b2 also. Wow, he saw the tactic. I was trying to trick him there with a nasty little tactic, but he saw it, unfortunately. I can also go knight d2 here. Wait a second. Okay, um, hmm. Shoot. Guess I'll just gambit a pawn here and go like queen e2, maybe? Actually, no, let's go knight d2 and hit the pawn. I should have gone bishop b2, maybe, also as a move. Okay, let's take. I'm um, definitely, I got to trade some pieces here. It's a strange move. Okay, I take, I go here, guard the pawn. I'm going to move my knight back at some point. Let's go here. Guess I go queen f1. I also have rook g3. Oh, let's go here. Ah, that was so stupid. But I have knight f4. <sighs> okay, I have knight b3. can also move my king maybe. Let's go here. Hit the queen. Oh, I just blundered rook f4. Or did I? No, actually I didn't. He goes queen a3. I go rook a1 maybe. Queen e5. It's logical. I'll go here and take. I just have to move. I just have to move and hope. I mean, if I get knight g6, I'm fine. So I'll pre-move it because it's a safe pre-move. It's the only pre-move. Okay, what does that do exactly? I don't know. Let's go... I'm doing fine here. I just have to find some moves. Let's play queen d2 and offer the trade. Let's go knight d4. e3, I just take and go rook g3. Knight f4, I go rook e3. I just go here. If e3, I just take. Oh, I just blundered again. Oh, good lord. Hmm. I was doing fine if I played queen e3 there. Forgot that the knight was hanging. I mean, I just lose now. He just blundered too. 
Or did he? He blundered, I think. Oh no, I just blundered. Or wait, no, I didn't blunder. I can take it with the queen. Wait. I, I almost just blunder. I win. Oof. <sighs> Let's go. Actually, I can just take, right? Because I can take and take. <laughs> I mean, this game's a roller coaster, but every Bong Thought game is just such a roller coaster to begin with. Like, it's crazy. Getting closer. Okay, 2800. We're close now. We're like two, three games away, I think. What are we up to? We're up to. Um... Plus five. We're 255, I think. Yeah, 255. Oh, come on, dude. You gotta go. It's your move. Okay, I mean, he's state. I don't think this. Yeah, okay. Okay, same same bro. Let's play F6. Let's go here. And play. I think I'm just gonna play pure French. Although this one it doesn't work as well because he has D5 right away. Although I'm threatening to maybe take because there are problems on the on the line. I mean basically I move the king to G7 and I pray that I can somehow do something. Or I do this in ID7, which is also playable too. Oh, let's go to ID7. Because now I guess I'll just trade everything on C3. He goes d6. Do I take? I assume I have to take and just go like knight g6 and knight. I mean, this might just be really awful after h4, though. Okay, he's going to gambit, which I kind of expected. I guess I'll go here and bishop a6, maybe. It's pretty ugly again. <laughs> but I mean, every, every game is going to be ugly. <laughs> every game is going to be garbage here. Let's play h5. <laughs> and I'm basically going to pray that my king is somehow surviving. That's about all that I can say. Thank you to Orb for the three months. Thank you so much, Orb. Thank you to Warm Hums for the tier one. Okay, but now I go like... Um, ah, he wants Rook H3. I see his idea here. I can also play F5. Let's do it. Thank you to Whackhead for the Prime. Black Momo with the Prime. Thank you to NCLS for the three. Thank you so much. Okay, so I guess I go here in Knight C6 and I just basically pray that I don't get checkmated. And that's all I can hope for. That's literally all I can hope for. And maybe I can survive. Um, let's go here because I realize he doesn't get knight g5 and f4 with the big bind where he holds the connect three. Oh, he's got this. Yikes. Ah. I didn't see that move. I mean, I guess actually here it's already real. This is already a huge threat though, so maybe I'm already just lost. I might already just be lost here anyway. Um, hmm. there's just no way I can do anything here, really. I do have F4, though. Wait a second. F4? G6? F8-3? No, I have nothing. Okay, um, let's just go back. Thank you, Hans. Thank you for, thank, thank you for the 12 months, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be really rough. I don't think I'm getting there. Um, <laughs> King F7, maybe? Uh, I'm not getting there in this game, that's for sure. Um, this is so gross. I mean, this is so gross. It's not even funny. There's like, I guess I go G6 and pray. But I mean, this is just so awful. I should have maybe taken and just, uh, but there's, there's just nothing. It's just so bad. I think McJohnson for the prime. Thank you so much. Um, let's go here. Oh, he's got queen d2, which I just realized also. Yeah. Okay, I can still go up. I, um, I want to sack some... Maybe I'll just go here. I'll try to sack this one and maybe... 
I mean, I'm obviously just completely toasted no matter what I do here. Yeah, I mean, that's just awful. Okay, let's, let's play someone else. Let's play here. Yeah, I mean, it's just, what can you do? If your opponent knows what they're doing, the opening, I mean, you just, you end up losing. It's unfortunate. Not much you can do. Let's play E6. Uh, no, it's not the first loss. Um, but I mean, it's just, it's just a bad opening. I mean, that's just a reality. It's like, you're, you, I, I don't actually know how I got to 3000, um, with this sort of stuff before, but I still think I can do it probably. I just have to get the right guy, kind of. I mean. Double digit losses. I think I'll get to 2800 before double digit, but... Um, but it's, uh, it's very, or not double digits. Sorry. I think I'll, yeah, I'll get to 2,800 before I lose another one. I think, what do I need? 28 games are worth like seven. I need to win like four of these games. So it's not guaranteed, but I think I can do it. I look tired. Uh, I mean, I am tired because this is very difficult. Like, like every game you see, I'm way down on time because this is very brutal. Um, let's go here. Cause I can't even just blitz out like 10 moves. Usually it's like move five. I already have to be thinking. Okay, at least I get development here. So maybe it's not so bad. Okay, let's go here, knight b6. Why do you open the center of your king as that? Because you need to take space in the center regardless. There's not much, I mean, you can do if you don't. Yeah, every game is like literally surviving the first 15 moves and you hope that you do. And after that, it's if you do, you have a chance, but otherwise it's like, it's awful. Can you go C4? I thought I could go Knight B6, but actually Knight F4 might be better. This is actually kind of ugly. Let's go here. So I just trade and go Queen B6 and hit the Rook. Hit the bishop. I go c5 maybe and close the diagonal. It's not so bad. It's bad, but it's maybe tenable. Okay, so I close the diagonal. Now his bishop is dead. It has no threats because the pawn's in the way, and my bishop has scope. I should be better here. Actually, I should. I should probably be better in this game now. I'm gonna go here in 95. I should. I should legitimately be better now with the pressure on the pawn on d6. Thank you to Willie, uh, Willie, Willie's cat, Willie's for cash. Thank you for the prime. Thank you, to Doink Machine for the prime. Knight H4 is a good move. This is the other problem. Everybody's finding good moves now. These guys are no put. These guys are not pushovers. <sighs> Frustrating. I mean, I guess I just take. I hope I'm not blundering. This feels like it could be a blunder. I guess I'll just go back. Go here, Knight G6 maybe. Thank you to McJohnson again for the prime. Thank you. But I mean, my score is at least where it should be. My, my score is around where it should. Oh my. Oh, good Lord. Did I really blunder this? Wait, is this? Oh, geez. What's he have? 97? Oh, and I just lose. I just lose on the spot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I had knight g6 maybe? Okay, knight g6 maybe was playable. Why did I do this? I've got to try to flag him here. Bring my king in maybe? His only chance is to trap my trap my rook. I'm totally not taking a draw, by the way. Oh, oh my gosh, he, oh my gosh, so bad. 
Why did I do that? I had a minute 25 and I just pre-moved G6 for no reason. Oh gosh. Yeah, I mean that was terrible. I don't know why I don't know why I pre-moved. Because I expected Bishop I just forgot he could play another move that hit the rook. That wasn't a Ferruja trick because that wasn't actually a bad move. But I shouldn't have done that. Uh let's do this, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get a good position this game at least. I'm not taking a break. I said 2,800. You go, or I said 2,800. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's just go. Rook, uh, let's go rook f1. Yeah, I mean, I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't. I mean, I probably should not have lost that game, but eh, it happens. Yeah, I, I I mean I should not have pre moved. That's just I'm getting tired and I just I I, play, I just wasn't thinking because I should not have pre moved that. That was a terrible pre move. Thank you to Melba for the prompt. Not just because of Bishop E5, but because the, there there were like a, 20 different moves that he could play. There were like 20 different moves that he could have played there that were completely fine. That's why I shouldn't have pre moved it. Let's go here and Knight F3, Bishop D2 maybe. I'm worse again, unsurprisingly. But this one's maybe not so bad. Let's go here take at least this one I'm, I'm okay i go knight f3 and bishop f4 i mean i'll get to 3000 it's just i don't know how many losses i'll have before i get there but it'll be a lot it, i mean i think it's probably gonna be at least 20 because i don't see myself gaining 300 points without 10 more losses at least what do i need 37 points now this is very frustrating let's go here at least i'm gonna win this game which is good 400 wins, 20 losses. That would be pretty epic. Um, okay, this guy at least seems a little bit, little bit weaker. Or did I just allow some weird trick again? Does he have some funny trick with a bishop d4? Ah, uh, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, does he have some funny trick now? <sighs> okay. No, he doesn't. It doesn't work. I go here. He takes g5, king g4. Okay, I'm gonna win this one at least. Yeah, final, I'm gonna get a win. There we go. Stop blundering, keep winning. It's not about blundering, it's more about my opponents and whether they blunder or not. Um, let's go rookie one. It's more about my opponents. Like, if they play, if they play well in the opening, I'm just gonna lose. Like, there's nothing I can really do about that. It's just a question of whether I can swindle them somehow. But if I can avoid some blunders, I mean, I should be fine. Dude, what are you talking about? Like, seriously? Okay, you get banned, dude. Let's take. Let's go knight of four here. Hit the pawn. Yeah, sorry. I just had to ban someone. Player d7. Okay, I think I just bring my king up. King e4, king, king uh, g4 as well. Let's play h4. Don't don't I have mods? Yeah, I mean I do have mods, but I mean I can I can also mod as well. Like, let's go here and hit hit both pawns at the same time. Let's go here. I have king D king f five next move should just be pretty cleanly winning. Let's go here and just take the pawn. What's the time? Um, I don't know. Thank you to A Pringle for the tier one. Thank you so much, so much A Pringle. 
I guess I, I mean I guess we're gonna be waiting for our next game. Let me let me stop the clock. Okay, I guess we wait for a game. Thank you to Achilleo for the uh, for the prime. Thank you to Pringle again. Thank you to Melo Bello. Thank you to Zen Miller Soundbite. Uh, I've never never picked up a chess book. Uh, I don't recommend books. You don't need books. I, I mean, keep doing what you're doing with online, and that's completely fine. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay, let's resume it. Let's go King F2. Yeah, you don't really need books. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's go D4. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need you don't need books. Yeah, you you don't need books. In this day and age, you don't really need it. H5 is a strange move. I think I'm gonna actually just play normal chess kind of because I think I can. I'll pre move D5. I think I take and I just take E3 and I get fast development here. This looks weird. Or E6. I mean, I can obviously take. I can also check. I'm gonna go knight a3 here, knight b5 maybe. Let's just take. Knight b5, knight c4, rook c1. I mean, this looks, this should be good somehow for me, although I'm not sure why or how or what, but it just it just feels like somehow there should be something. Black hasn't developed pieces. I've developed three juicers and he's developed really not any. I mean, maybe black's just fine here, but it feels like there should be something. Maybe like I just play for quick activity. Actually, let's just play for the quick piece activity. Let's go here. Uh, I can also... Um, I always have knight b5. Oh, I feel like there should be some... I just feel like there should be piece play here. I'm just going to do this in bishop c4. And then I go queen b3 and I get what I want. Let's go here. If queen d6, I have knight b5. I mean, I don't know if this is actually good for me, but it just it looks very dangerous. Okay, let's go here. Let's line them up. Create the right triangle. Oh, he's got this. Yikes. Um, I guess we'll go 92. I have a lot of development. The problem is, like, I don't have much beyond that. Thought I could play knight b5 here. Maybe I just. Shoot. I misplayed this. Okay, let's go here. He takes. I guess I just take, take, take. Oh, did I just blunder again? I might have just blundered again. Um, B7 or D8. I just blundered. This is actually the, probably the most promising position I had obtained out of an opening. Oh, did I just... Uh, wait, Bishop C6, I go Queen here. Let's go maybe here. Here. I have bishop f7. <sighs> Let's go rook d1. Oh, I just got this now? What? I should have played queen b7 first. This is probably the best position that I, I've gotten out of an opening, oddly enough. Yeah, he found rook h6, which is the best move. Oh, and I switched to c6. Bishop b5 also. This is not Magnus, of course. Um, but yeah, let's go here. Oh, now I blundered e2. Yeah, that was just terrible. I'm gonna make one last push and then I'm then I'm gonna stop. Okay, let's go here and here. Take. 
What is the, why did he just wonder a piece? I mean, I don't know why he's doing this. Let's go D5. Let's go here, Knight of Six, I guess. Can you car carnivore mic for the for the uh, for the prime? Okay, let's play uh, knight h5 here. Hit the pawn. Hit the queen. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I did the sack. I mean, it's actually not great for me, by the way. I'll, I'm, I'm not even sure I'm going to win this, honestly. Let's go here. I don't know why, but it's like I, I also suddenly can't. Just can't think. Let's just go here, I guess, and rook h7, queen e7. It was e5. Okay, that's a logical move. I think I can go here, maybe. <sighs> I mean, or, or like, yeah, this is just very weird. Any way you break it down, I don't know why, but I can't think about. I can't just can't think anymore. Um, let's just go here. I thought I could play this and this, but I don't know if it's good or not. Let's go here and rook h seven. I guess I just go rook d8 and I hit the pawn. Go c5 and hit the pawn and takes. Okay, but this has to be winning, surely. I can play g6 or, or just takes. Nah, it's just winning. Okay. Think of Vitro for the two months. Think of Vitro. Appreciate it. Let's take. I'm, I'm really only annoyed about that one game that... um. I'm really only annoyed about that one game where I played the uh, Rizzy or Ritz or whatever his name was, and I hung the, uh, and I hung, um, and I hung the, uh, and I just hung the pre move bishop b5. That's the game that I'm annoyed by. All the other games I'm not really super annoyed by particularly, but that one game was really unfortunate. Let me think. It's Ruka. I mean, this looks. This must be winning, I assume. I could have played d3 first. I don't know why I didn't go d3. I guess I go here. I don't know if this is good, but I want to go D3, D2. Let's go. Maybe here? How did he stop the pawn, actually? This must be winning. Yeah, this has to be winning. I just check. And then Bishop E4, yeah. Check, and here. And now D2 is just winning on the spot. Next move. He moves and I go back and it's game over.
Okay, let's let's play someone else. I'm not playing him again. Good D4. Uh, I can play C4, Bishop C4 here. I think this is okay. This is a good game, by the way. This is someone that I that I uh, want to play against here. FM still? What do you mean FM still? Let's go here. Why is it fine for GMs that have multiple accounts? Uh, this is not multiple accounts. I'm doing a speed run. So I'm literally using this account only for this and nothing else. I should take with the queen. I don't know why I didn't take with the queen. Um, but we keep going. Let's go here. Knight, knight E2. Update the wins? Um, not really. I feel like I'm playing badly. So I'll update it once I get to 2800, which is, I mean, which should be soon, hopefully. Let's go here. Okay, bishop f6. I think I can go here. Play knight e4. I'm gonna go here though. I think this is okay. And I take and play rook c1. I played blindfolded all the time. Yeah, I've played a lot of blindfolded over the years. This is an important game because I should win this game. Thank you, Bruno Mafi, for the prime. Thank you, Bruno. Appreciate it. Thank you. This is a very important game because I should win this game. I've got a good position out of this. Well, I mean, good is relative, but I, ha I am not, like, just much worse out of the opening for the first time in a while. I thought I'd go here. Okay, I'm doing well. This is like the best position I've had in a very long time. So it's important that I don't mess it up. Thank you to Con Keanu for the tier one. Thank you to Bruno Moffi again. Thank you to Shrek Lord of the Swamp for the prime. Thank you to Abelazzi with the prime. Thank you to Carnivore Mike again. Thank you to Vitro and uh, Refresh6666 for the three months. Sax Patch with the prime. The Ploki with the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, I'm just going to go A3. He'll, he'll kick the bishop, but I go back. Um... I mean, this is the best position I've probably had of an opening since very early on. Okay, let's... Hmm, that's a good... Hmm, yeah, that's a good move. Let's drop back. He goes C6. I think I just play Rook D1 here. I'm definitely going D5. Thank you, Domto, with the Prime. Thank you so much, Domto. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, did I... I might have had some trick there that I just missed. Hmm. Hmm. I go d6. I don't see it. I go knight e4. This should be okay. Let's go 94. <laughs> Your effort doing five plus hour stream every day is something I've never seen. It's just incredible. Uh, there are a couple other streamers who stream significantly longer, amazingly. Uh, but I try. I try. Okay, I can take. Let's go D7 here. Actually, let's just take and go here. Let's go D7. Uh, I think I'm going to go here. He can't move the knight because then he gets... Oh, he can move the knight. <laughs> Whoa, thank you to Red, Red Baron. Thank you to or Red 2 Baron for the five gifts. And thank you to 100 GG for the 300 bits. Thank you so much, Red 2 Baron. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, how did I mess this one up? I messed this up too, amazingly. I guess I'll go here. Because... <sighs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Did I really just do that? I mean, somehow I'm in the game still, but oh, my gosh. <sighs> wow. This is how you know that, yeah, the thing, I'm just like, yeah, now I'm really starting to miss stuff that I shouldn't be missing. Let's go. 
If I can hang on to the pawn, I can win. Okay, I think I'm gonna win. Wow. Luckily, there's no time. If you had time, I mean, I would have lost this game. <laughs> I like Rook C2. It's a good technique. Good attempt. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we're 25 away. Let's go here. Bishop B4. Okay, it's important that I, this is probably the game that I really need to win to break the streak in the bad way. Let's go D5, 97, Rook F8, and King G8. Thank you to the real fern for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Technique was okay. I wouldn't say it was great, but it was okay. Um, I'm gonna go f5 here. Close it down a little bit. Let's go back. If takes, I just I, I I assume I'm gonna take on c3. Although I don't know. Oh, and he saw it. Unbelievable. Ugh. Although, how bad is this actually? Because knight g5, I can just kick the horse. Not sure how bad this really is. Thank you to Flores for converting a Prime Gaming into a Tier 1. Thank you. Let's do it. Okay, so he's just gambiting here. I mean, it's really hard to believe this works, so I just have to take. If it's no good, it's no good. But, I mean, I find it very hard to believe. Okay, so first things first. I trade. I come here. I go g6, and I should be holding my whole king side. Just bishop f8, bishop g7. I think I'm going to win this game, too. Thank you to lol, uh, lol for lols for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's just go queen e8 and bishop f8. Okay, I should win this game. Look, this is good. Let's just go um, let's go back. He does have h5. <laughs> let's go here. Okay, let's go here. Takes, I guess I just take... It's a little bit messy still though. Very messy actually. I guess I Oh no, maybe I can just take and go I can take and go knight f5. And now I close the diagonal, I eat the pawn, and I should I should be winning, yeah. This is good. This is good. Very good. Okay, now I just take the pawn and now I can just move my bishops, bring the rook over, and win the game. Now let's just do this. Just go here, stop the mate, and now rook f8. Now all my pieces are in the game, and long term I should just win. Um, how do I do this? Actually, let's just go. Not actually, yeah. Rook f7 is fine. So he moves the bishop. I just take the pawn because he loses the bishop on, on f4. I was about to play bishop f8 and walk into checkmate at one. That would have been a big, big disaster. Let's go here. I just have to move my king somehow. I don't know how to move my king away. I think this works. I hit the bishop. I hit the bishop. I'm going to win this one too. Let's just take. Oh, he's got bishop d3, but I have rookie four maybe. Still very messy. Let's just go. Um... Uh, let's play rookie four here. Just take. Go check, I take the pawn with check, I go check and take the pawn. Let's go check, I can just take. I can also take e5 here. Let's keep going. Let's go here, e3, I guess. I need to win three more, right? Three more to get there. Um Go D3. Let's go C3 and D4.
Let's just say and go e4 here. Uh, maybe it's knight e4? Probably not, though. Okay, let's see. Does this work or not? Okay. I'm going to take because I don't believe him. Is there a mate here? H4, G4? I don't believe this. He has a trick here. How is there this trick? This is unbelievable. <laughs> Literally unbelievable that such a trick exists. Wow. Unreal. <sighs> maybe it's not so bad though. I'm mean, it's not maybe not so bad. Let's see. Plays H4. Um, does this actually work? I mean, this is crazy what he's doing. I take and I take. I think I just take. I don't see a mate. Knight C3 here. He's basically throwing the whole kitchen sink and then some at me. I have two extra pieces here, so if I can survive somehow for a couple of moves, I win. I think I just go H3 here. I think I can go Knight C3 and Knight E4. I think I'm gonna win. Stay to Zampas for the 10 months, let's go. Here, I have two pieces I should be holding here. Uh, I can play rook h3. I can also just take the juicer. Maybe I, uh, I want to move the bishop. Let's just take maybe or move my bishop or queen c3. Actually, queen c3 is a very nice move because there are no queen checks. So if queens come off, I win the game. Thank you, Catamon, for the five bucks. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. So we're going to win again. Two more to go, I think. Let's just uh, take the bishop, and now we win. There we go. Okay. Let's go queen f2 here and king h2, and now we just win. Let's go queen g3. I think I just developed, developed the bishop, game over. Okay. Play f6, e6, king f7 here. Why did knight d6 not work? It might have worked, but I don't know. And we were two away. I, I really need to just like lock it up here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very important. This is, if I lose this game, I'm probably not going to make it. I mean, I'll probably move on to something else. It's a good move. Um, let's go c6. Hmm. Um, I'm just going to move my king back. Good g6 maybe and bishop g7. Just take with the c pawn, take with the pawn. If I'm gonna go knight c6, maybe I'll just take with the pawn.
Let's go 95. I'll take the pawn next move. Um, I think I'm gonna take with a knight here and take probably. Whoa, thank you to Mamba forever for the 50 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Mamba. Thank you for the 50 gifted subs, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, let's go here and play rook c8. I mean, this is probably terrible, actually. I just blundered. <laughs> I'd literally blunder. Uh, okay, let's just take and hopefully I can survive this somehow with knight d5. Um, thank you so much to Mamba. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 50 gifted subs. I'm in bad shape though. I mean, I'm in really bad shape. That's the problem with this opening. Like when I try to play fast, what happens is that then bad things start happening. If I play slow, then the time is too much because I have a bad position to begin with. So it's very, very difficult. Uh, I think I'll go here. I should have actually just taken the bishop there. I don't know why I didn't take the bishop. Okay, he's trying. So go here. I'm trying, I'm trying to hang in here. It's a very tough spot to hang in here. Okay, take. I mean, if I can somehow... Oh, but he's got rook d3. d8, ugh. Um, I'm going to do this in rook h7. I'm going to try to hang in. If c5, I guess I just go up or something. Can I just go... Oh, man, this is just too much. It's just too difficult to survive these positions. Ugh. move <sighs> okay, it goes 94 which I actually think is a uh, it's not a great move let's go here I'm trying to hang on. If I can get my pawns advanced somehow, maybe I have a shot. There's knight b5. That should not really worry me. I think I'm just going to move my king up. Because now there's no threat with the back rank anymore. Let's go. Let's go here, maybe. See so if this. No, then I have this. Okay. Thank you to George Jawalan with the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Takes king g7. King H8, maybe? What's going on here? Wait a second. Thank you, Lug Nuts, for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you, Jajoran and Shroppy. Thank you for the Primes. Appreciate it. I'm trying to win this game. This is very tricky. Okay, I just take. I don't know what this is, though. Okay, I go. Let's go here. I could have gone rook c7 too, maybe. This may be better. Let's go uh, takes maybe? Because he, I have back rankers here. His knight's in trouble. I can hit his knight. I think I just move my king up and I go bishop g7 and now I think I'm safe. Yeah, now I'm safe. Let's go, um, let's go check, let's go check. I think this, this, oh wait, that, no, there's no knight of six. Wait, wait, I almost just blundered my queen there. Wait, let's go here. Okay, let's go. This is one more for 2,800. Let's go. <sighs> so close. Okay. Let's go D5 and C4, maybe. If bishop C5, I go Knight A4, hit the bishop. I think this is okay now. I go Bishop D3.
Probably gonna manually cast my king in a second if I have to. I'm trying. We're not we're not at the end of the road yet, you guys. So it's no 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 reason to celebrate just yet. Um, I can take. I don't really like e4, but I think it's actually okay because I can just go back to my king. Like basically, black's trying to attack, but my king is not actually completely castled, so I think it's playable here. What does that do? Okay, I'm gonna play bishop e1 to trade some bishops. Because the thing is, I can still run my king the other way, probably. I'll take with the queen. I'm probably gonna take. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take and play rook d1 here. Because I have c5 here, I have b3. My king is not great, but it could be a lot worse. Or maybe not. Oh, I missed this idea. Let's go queen up two here. Thank you to Wonder GG for the 1,000 bits. Thank you so much, Wonder GG. Okay, I mean this this has to be bad, right? Knight b5. I hit the juicer. Oh, he's got knight f7. Yikes! I missed that. Okay, I guess I'll go here. Maybe I'm gonna take. I don't. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I could also maybe sack. Um, I'm gonna go here, put pressure on the pawn. He's gonna take, I take, he checks, and I go king g1. And I think I'm safe temporarily. I don't see a checkmate. My rook is actually amazingly good on the line, and I think I'm gonna win the pawn on d6 here. That's a good move. If I take, 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 bishop c4. Um, I think I'm just gonna play knight d5, maybe just take this way instead. Fav FPS game, probably Fortnite if you made me pick one. I mean, I don't really have a favorite per se, but I mean, really, yeah. If you, if you made me pick one, I would say Fortnite. That's what I would, that, that's what I would say. Um, let's just go. Oh, he's going to get 96 here. Yikes. Okay, let's go here. Sorry if I keep saying yikes 20 times in a row, you guys. Apologies. Um, my king is not good now. I think I'm going to run my king back towards the center of the board here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go king e1. I'm gonna try to get my king out away. I'm gonna run my king to the, this side of the board, basically. He wants queen b6. I think a4 is fine because I have queen f2. Okay, I will go queen f2 now, I guess. Oh, but now I guess knight e6. Yikes. Let's go here. Or, yeah. Okay, now he blunders this though. Now it's game on again. I just take. <laughs> How many times have I said yikes? I've said yikes like 50 times. What's wrong with me? Um, let's just take. I have e5 and rook h7. I can also just. I think this is a good move. Let's go here, hit the rook. I have 97 maybe. Let's go check. If he takes, I take. If he goes over, I check. Yes. No, actually, no, I go check, check, and win. We get the win. Oh, thank you to Asep for the five months. Thank you so much. Thank you to Phil's fifth song for the uh, tier one. Thank you to Dub N for the prime. How much of the... What's the score going to be? Let me see. What's the score going to be? We're going to be at... Okay, one second. Actually, this is not. I, I should not count my chickens before the egg is hatched. Um, chickens before, yeah, before the edge, is, edge, edge is hatched. Yeah, let's go knight c six maybe. It's gonna be sixty two, I think. Just take. There we go. Oh, I lost my connection for a second. Oh no. What was that all about? For a second, I lost my connection. No, I mean, no, no, you can't, you don't, you can't, do, don't do me like that. No, 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 <laughs> no. He resigns, okay, there we go, get the win. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back, you guys. <laughs> 